what's going on everyone you're welcome once again to david data channel so on today's video we're continuing on our dbt series and we'll be talking about how to generate your dbt documentation on a website using dbt docs command so basically dbt docs allows you to um, view your documentations on dbt on a website right if you are using dbt cloud you would just um, click on the docs handle um, on the UI and you would get your documentation on the website and the same thing can also be done using the dbt core which we are using for these uh, tutorials and basically for dbt docs it just requires two commands or two sub commands dbt docs generate and dbt docs serve so what really happens is that when you um, run your queries uh, dbt compiles it in this folder called target right uh, you can find this compiled all your queries everything compiled in this folder called target right and then it says um, this command responsible dbt dot generate uh, copies your file from copies the website index or HTML file into that target directory compiles it to the manifest um, file JSON file and then produces the catalog JSON file so by the time we do um, dbt doc save it saves it onto uh, a local host server on your port so let's just quickly do that and see what that looks like all right so our and also notes that these documentations are coming in from what you have specified in your schema in your yaml files right in your yaml files all the yaml files your, your your description your test everything your name of columns and all that this is where documentation actually comes from from your yaml files and all that stuff yeah so i'm just going to do dbt docs generates yeah okay so as we read it has built the catalog the json file into the target uh folder target directory right target directory catalog the json and so we're going to do dbt um docs save so it will save it to a local host server for us okay so beautiful you're welcome to, to your dbt documentation on the website so here i can see on that project i can see my sources right i can see my projects my models my staging files my snapshot file so it's really beautiful good database you can see your um your database on your digital warehouse so you can just take time to read through this and let's see if i click on customers now on my under my models i'll see my description it says this table has basic information about the customer as well as some derived facts from the cost based on customers order um, i can see the columns customer id tells me this is a unique field and it's not null you can see so many interesting stuff right so i can see the test on this table unique test and all that i can see the models this table the, depends on it depends on staging customers staging orders and stage payments i can see the compiled code right in sql uh as i read through in ginger i can see the compiled code here as well in proper sql as it's been run and i can also see the dag for this right if you click on this lineage you can see the dag the relationship how it's moving from the sources into the staging files and then my model so it's really beautiful right really really beautiful stuff so i hope you gain some stuff out of this right you can view the dags how the data is flowing from source to destination all right till we meet again in the next video thanks please do subscribe like and share with your friends bye